As Marsoc, we seek to not only dominate on the X, but also leverage every asset we have to its fullest extent in order to control the battle space. Prior to the raid, a marine reconnaissance element, along with drone surveillance, provides us with critical information. Once we hit the target, conventional Marines, acting as partner nation forces, assist our Marine Special Operations team. As a fully enabled MSOT, we utilize all of our Special Operations Capability Specialists to complete our mission. In this case, we use a multi-purpose canine to incapacitate a hostile, and an explosive ordnance disposal technician evaluates and reduces a weapons cache, denying the enemy operational capabilities in the training scenario. Reconnaissance is valuable to both the conventional and the special operations community. One, we provide that connecting file between the conventional infantry, conventional forces, and that special operations uh, capability. Additionally, another asset we provide is that uh, persistent near real-time ground reconnaissance and battle space shaping capability, allowing special operations and conventional forces to free up to do other mission sets. Over time, this exercise has evolved uh, to ensure that it encompasses a broad range of military operations. It really stresses interoperability, both with partner nation forces, other services, and also government agencies and departments. It's been long days, long nights. It's been stressful. Uh, we're all pretty tired, but we're gonna come out of this exercise fully prepared for a deployment.